Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to build this scooter kit. Um, I'll leave the link below where you can get the kit at. And then um, it's pretty simple. It's a really easy design. There's two different types, but they go together basically the same way with the exception of the front wheel. Okay, today we're going to be working on this one. We'll come back to this one another time. But once you get your kit, you want to go ahead and paint it while it's still inside of the piece. Kind of like a puzzle. If it's in there and you paint it, it's a lot easier. So for instance, if that's in here, you just go ahead and paint over it with like a paint pen or some acrylic paint or something. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take all your pieces out, make sure they have no rough edges, which they probably won't because they're sanded, but occasionally you might get one little burr or two. All right, and then you want to line them up. You have the bottom bases, which is this here. You have the seat. There's writing on one side, so you want to make sure the writing goes on the bottom. Then you have the wheel axis here, and then the support. Then this is the bottom support for the back piece. Then you have the top part of the handlebar and then the handlebar. Then you have some wheels, a little block, which you'll need for in the middle. You have the seat and then you have the bottom seat rest and a toothpick. You, you'll um, you definitely need the toothpick for the wheels. Okay. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to take your seat base and you want to turn it over just like this. And then you want to go ahead and grab the piece that looks like this. And one side has a line on it, okay? That's the side that you want to go ahead and put in there. And I'm just using a tiny bit of crazy glue Mind you, whoop, that's a little too much. Crazy glue will lock on very quickly with this type of wood. It's MDF. I'm going to go ahead and take some of that off because it's just way too much. This is going to go inside of here just like that it just slides right in there remember the lines go on the inside you'll see the line okay now you have something that looks like a T for this piece you're going to put a little bit of crazy glue on it then there's a little box there. You're going to slide that, I'm trying to do it where you can see, and it's very difficult to hold that at the same time while trying to get it in the camera. There we go, sorry about that. And then press that down to the bottom where it's touching here. You want to make sure it's touching up here as well. Now the next step, you're going to put a little bit of crazy glue on here. Just like that. And then you're going to slide this with the lines facing inward. Make sure everything is pressed down evenly, just like that. Okay, at that point, you want to let that set up and dry. 
and then you want to take your wheel and you want to put a little bit of crazy glue on one end and put it in there like that and let it dry then you want to do the same thing to the other end and let it dry and it should look like this and then you want to cut the excess off right and you need to make it just wide enough to where it will fit inside of the wheel casing and we're gonna let that alone because I forgot that I modified this and um, that's got a little bit of wet crazy glue in there for the moment Okay, so now you have this piece here and you want to go ahead and put a little bit of crazy glue on that You want to have this facing toward the back. Put it all the way to the edge of this. Now you want to take this piece, it looks like a pointy triangle, weird triangle edge, and you want to place that right in there, pressing against that. Now, once you do that, um, you're going to need some crazy glue on this piece as well. And I put it across there and on that piece. Try to make it as even as possible. Once your whole thing is together, you can go back and paint all your edges black or you can paint them red because when you paint it inside of the kit, the edges are not getting painted. All right, now I'm gonna let that set up for a second and I'm gonna put a little bit of crazy glue on the backrest. And this crazy glue is coming out faster because of the fact that I had to unclog it they've changed the uh, whole thing with the way that they use that and this is just a bad contraption that they've come up with now you're gonna slide that right in that hole let that set up Now, you want to grab your handlebars and you want to go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the handlebars. And then you want to slide the handlebars right in that hole and leave it set like that. Now you have a block. You want to go ahead just a little bit of crazy glue along the edge of that. And you want to make it even with this. So it should look like that. Now repeat that process for the rest of it. If you have a bottle of crazy glue you probably won't have this issue that I'm having with this Loctite. And normally I love Loctite, but like I said, they've modified their glue lid in their bottle. Okay, so you're gonna push that in there, and then on the other side, while it's still wet, you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna put that on there.
make sure they're even. Now you see how that's there? That piece that I cut earlier, we're gonna recut that because we need that to go inside of there. You may have to sand that edge a little bit. Put a little bit of crazy glue on there. And actually, I'm going to put it in through the opposite side if I can hold this thing in my hand. That way it doesn't dry before I get the wheel lined up because I forgot to line the wheel up. Now push it through. And that should flatten out a little bit because it had the crazy glue on it so it flattens that out just around there and then this side should be fine and then your wheel should move the more you move it the looser it'll get now back to the back wheel you're going to slide that in place right there and then you're going to take this piece here this is going to be 1 8 inch you're going to take your blade and you are going to hold it flat on the ground okay and then you're going to line your blade up with it and then just slice down just like that and don't cut your finger it's really easy to slice it's not difficult at all I don't have another one but I will show you with something similar. Keep your fingers out of there. And it just slices just that easy because it's MDF. Once that's sliced, set it on the side, and then be careful not to get this crazy glue on your wheels or too much where it drips down in there. Like, see how that wants to drip out? Now you gotta line that up right across the bottom. And you have to slice this because if you don't, then the wheels will touch the ground with this and then it won't work. Your wheels should still move.
All right, let that dry and go back and touch up all the areas that are needing to be touched up. I like to use the paint pens because they're simple and pretty easy. All right, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And um, again, I'll post the link below for this kit. If you want to purchase it, you can. And for all of you guys who have asked me to build the kit or start building kits and stuff for you guys to put together because you don't have the ability to cut that wood and everything that you want to do for when you're building kits, there's lots more. There's baby cribs, dressers, armors. There's going to be living room sets, um, master bedroom sets, bunk beds, kid beds, you name it. It's all going to be on the store um, coming very, very soon if it's not already there by now. All right, thanks again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.